the morning. This one is going to be a take about Stacey Abrams, African-American woman who's running for governor in Georgia, and she's dealing with the racist heckling, <clears throat> excuse me, of not only her opponent, but also that old racist bigot Donald Trump. And she, he called her out at his speech talking about she was underqualified and she didn't have this and have that. Stacey Abrams is a Yale college grad. She's very qualified, very dignified, very articulate, very well spoken, and has an, an agenda of what she's going to do. And she has been very forthright and has talked about all kinds of details. But see, <clears throat> when Trump goes on his racist rant, and he always has anybody African American, you know, if they don't agree with him, they have low IQ, you know, Maxine Waters, Don Lemon, LeBron James, Steph Curry, and now Stacey Abrams. There's a pattern <clears throat> of his behavior, of his racist, vile nature. And it's pro-white nationalist rhetoric. And so he says, well, you're not qualified. You don't have this. You're not this. You're not that. But this woman is very well qualified. And she should have every right to exercise that. Man, I hope she, I hope she goes to town and, and uh, serves up a high W and wins. Because she is that good. You know, an idiot is running around spewing negative racist rhetoric, which has nothing to do with the politics or the education or the enlightenment. <clears throat> and see, when people allow a bully to use cheap tactics to say things which aren't irrelevant to the situation, the most important things, the topics and the subjects at hand get lost in the storm because it's a lot of side dishes that don't go on the plate. So Stacey Abrams is being railroaded. And it's of course it's a it's a task to kind of say, well, she's not really this and not that. But she has proven time again in her interviews and she's been very articulate that she is more than qualified to break the chains. You know, and I say that word just the way I say it, because the racist venom attitude, which isn't subtle at all, but those chains and that mindset need to be broken. And it is about being heard and taking a stand against the bully negative tactics of what Donald Trump and all of them that aren't speaking on issues but are using cheap tactics to downplay what she represents. So <clears throat> this is an endorsement of saying Stacey Abrams and Oprah Winfrey came forth for her. So she should be given that platform. She's a very educated, enlightened African-American woman. That's my take. Feel free to hit those comments, please.